Hello and welcome to my channel, Making It Fabulous with Colleen. On this channel, you'll find inspiring, yes, you can do it, tips for makeup and skincare, as well as related content for anyone who wants to look and feel their best. A special welcome to my new visitors here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this video and that you will consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you so much and please make sure that your notifications are turned on and that you are subscribed to my channel. Today, I'm not feeling 100%. So today's makeup look is going to be a very quick makeup um, routine that is just going to get me through the day. I actually do feel a little bit better now that I've put my makeup on today. I woke up, I'm just trying to get over this cold and it's just not great, but it is inspiring what a little bit of makeup will do to make you feel a little better. So if you're feeling under with the weather or if you wanna learn how to do a really quick makeup routine, keep watching. First gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Liquid Filter Primer. I'm not feeling 100% today. I'm just trying to get over this cold. So I thought today, I've got a few meetings that I have to attend via Zoom and Teams today. So I at least wanna put <laughs> on something so that I don't look icky, like I feel. <laughs> i just put a little bit of that on. I really do like that e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow. I feel like it does a really nice job at providing a little bit of primer as well as providing a um, nice little glow. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Nude Foundation. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit on. This is a really light formula. It's very liquidy. This might be a little bit light for me, but it'll work. Get a brush to blend that in. I'm filming today on Valentine's Day. Hopefully you guys had a chance to take a look at my Valentine's Get Ready With Me video that I posted last week. I will link it below in case you didn't have a chance to watch it. Like I said, I'm not feeling 100% today. So I just wanna put on a little bit of makeup Nothing crazy, just enough to, maybe it'll make me feel better. It's the one thing with makeup. I think that it has the, <coughs> excuse me, it has the ability to really make you feel a little better. Gives you a little pick me up. I have some new subscribers. So welcome to my channel. It's wonderful to have you. Would love to hear from you. Where are you from? How did you find me? Then I'm gonna just go in with my Beauty Blender sponge and just push all that in. So see, usually I put my eye makeup on first and then go in with the foundation because oftentimes when I put the eyeshadow on, it can, um, if it's powdery, it will get all over here. So I don't like to do that, but today I'm not gonna do a ton with my eyes. I'm gonna go in with a concealer from Wet n Wild. It's called Incognito. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. I'm gonna put this also on the back of my hand. This is a brand new tube. It's like my first time using it. 
I'm gonna just put it on the back of my hand. And instead of going with the doe foot applicator right on my face, I'm going to go and put it on my sponge and just press it in. Sometimes I think that that gives it a little bit of a better opportunity to blend nicely. I'm also gonna put it on my eyelids as a primer today. See how nice that works? Again, I'm just gonna put it on there and then I'm just gonna push it in. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Okay, just have a little bit left on there. I'm gonna put it, I have a little age spot over here around my nose. So you can see I'm looking better already. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And I did get, this is not new on the market, but it is new to me. It is from NYX and it is the, their Wonder Stick. So on one side, it has the bronzer contour and then on the other side, it has the, um, and instead of going straight on it, it has a highlighter. I am gonna do that exact same thing that I just did with the concealer and I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna get it, I feel like, Doing this, not applying directly to my face, really gives it an opportunity to melt better into the skin. Kind of warms it up before I even get it on there. Oh yeah, I'm feeling back in the land of the living. <laughs> Just gonna put it on the back. Sometimes when you apply directly on your face, it can give you a harsh line that sometimes you just can't get rid of. See how nice that is? So I urge you, try that. Try to put any kind of the, any liquid, um, I'm gonna do the, the highlighter the same way. Any kind of liquid and just Dab it on the back and then dab it in with your sponge. Yeah, that looks great, don't you think? Put a little bit more bronzer on. I think I need it, don't you? <laughs> this particular NYX Wonder Stick, this is, like I said, the first time I've used this, but it won't be the last time. That really blended in easily and nicely, and I really like that. Okay, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow and just put a little bit of color in my brows. Just a little, not too much. This is a nice product. It doesn't provide a ton of coverage. I did purchase these uh, Milani Gilded Minis. And I got the one in It's All Rosé and the other in Champagne Problems. So I think I'm gonna do It's All Rosé today. And again, I told you I don't feel good today, so I'm just gonna do enough to give myself a little bit of color. I'm gonna go in with a small um, not small, maybe a mid-size fluffy brush. And this is the Be BK Beauty 202. And I'm gonna go into this shade. I've heard mixed reviews about this particular palette. I'm gonna go right into my crease. I actually blended out really nicely. I like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this particular color right here and just put that all over my lid. 
It's pretty. Hopefully that gives me a little softness. Opens up the eye a little bit. I was on vacation, not last week, but the week before. We went on a cruise and then I came down with this nasty cold. And I'm just gonna go in with this color right here, tap off the extra and just deepen that outer corner a little bit. The nice thing about these milded, <laughs> milded um, gilded mini palettes is that there are six shades so you can get a nice look from them. This, um, there are three shimmers and three mattes. So that really helps to provide a, a, a good look. This, I wish there was one deeper color in here. Let me go into this other one and see if I can find one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go into this one. Just deepen up that outer corner a little bit. I said I wasn't gonna do too much and now look what I'm doing. That helped. But like I said, makeup does wonders. It really makes you feel better. People say, why in the world would you wanna start this YouTube channel? Well, you've got so much going on. But this is really my therapy. I really, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy applying makeup. I enjoy applying um, my skincare routine. So it's really, hopefully I can provide some good tips to you, some practical tips. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Just want to look ahead to make sure I have the same amount on both sides, that not one side has more shadow than the other, and everything's kind of meeting. And then I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush again. Well, maybe I better get a, a better, a new, clean one. And I'm just going to put this, this is from that first palette, it's all rose. And I'm just going to give myself a little color on my brow bone and I want to make sure that there's no harsh lines Revlon color stay it's in charcoal so I'm just going to line very lightly just the outer I'm not going to go all the way in I'm just going to do the outer One of the reasons I like to do that, I'm gonna take a smudger brush and just smudge that out even a little bit more, is because it leaves this part of the eye open and that will make my eyes pop a little bit more. And I need it today, okay? I need it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my um, Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is one of my go-tos. I love this mascara. Just taking my brush and kind of twirling it. Twirl, roll it back in. That provides the most amount of coverage on my lashes. You can see. see how nice this lengthens and separates. Because I really want everything to be going up, I'm not gonna put any mascara on my lower lash. Just click. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that Revlon 
028, can't see the color on it, blush. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush, really tap off, even tap it on the back of my hand so I can see how much it's gonna deposit and just work it up into the hairline. Ooh, that's pretty. Make sure you bring it over your nose. Okay, I'm feeling better already. Clean vinyl ink. give me a little bit of color on my lips. And that's the final look. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I think it looks nice, not too much, not too little. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And as I mentioned, I am filming this on Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.